Hello, Pay Zero for College community. This is Certified College Funding Specialist. Parents, are you aware that your students can learn how to position themselves for the maximum funding, which goes way beyond just knowing about test scores and grades? In module two, I'm going to be talking about strategic college selection for students which is a strategy system that focuses on helping students understand how to position themselves for maximum funding. Students need this tool to learn how to position themselves for the maximum funding from their schools of choice. It also assists with avoiding the mistakes that lead to overpaying for education, forfeiting funding, and the negative consequences of selecting the wrong school. The timeline for this particular strategy, it starts around the eighth grade. And then what we teach is that the student should be walking through this module at least every quarter during each year as they develop their student matrix. And you'll see more of what this means uh, as we go along. Problem number one is helping your student avoid becoming a statistic. So according to the college board, 50% of students drop out of college by the second year. For urban centers, it's about 70%. So between 50 and 70% by the end of the second year of college, massive numbers of students have dropped out. Less than 15% of entering college freshmen will graduate within four years. And 43% take more than five years to graduate. And students and parents then carry student loan debt decades after the student has left school, regardless if it was by graduation or if they uh, dropped out. So why does this continue to happen year after year? Why does this continue to perpetuate itself? Why are these numbers even getting worse? And it's simple. Students lack the knowledge for strategically selecting uh, the right schools. Students are unaware of how the college funding process works. And students are not getting ample instruction to make wise informed decisions. And many parents are not prepared for how much uh, the funding process has changed. Problem number two, can your student answer these questions correctly? So when students do not know these answers, they are at risk of making the wrong college selection. For example, the, you can test your student to see if they know the answers to these questions. How do schools award funding? What does it mean to be full ride ready? And parents, do you know the answers to these questions? Who sets the standard and when should a parent, excuse me, a student obtain the standard? And what are the requirements for being awarded a full ride scholarship from their preferred schools? And why should a student start this process in the eighth grade? And why should a student apply for a minimum of six schools? These are just a sample of the questions that a student must have accurate knowledge of because the lack of understanding and the lack of clarity regarding the answers to these questions is what's fueling this huge uh, student dropout gap and the negative consequences of selecting the wrong school. Problem number three, missing important timeline sensitive decision making. This is a huge problem. So the importance of understanding how the admissions and funding timeline uh, works in the college funding process, especially in light of this particular mod module as we talk about the role of the student and what the student needs to understand um, in terms of what they should be doing on their side of, of this process. 
Students must understand how grades and test scores tie into the funding and admissions timeline. That we can, I could elaborate on all of these and, and make this a two hour course, but I'm trying to squeeze it in 15 minutes. Um, each of the four years of high school will be assessed by their schools of choice during and after the senior year of high school. Students need to understand this. It's important that the student is full ride ready by the end of the junior year of high school based on the admissions requirements of their schools of choice and the funding criteria of their selected schools. This is really, really important. Um, we see that a lot of students just don't understand the timelines and as a result, they wait until the first quarter of the senior year to try to cram all of these things in a short period of time and it just causes stress in the household, stress in, on the student and missed opportunities because the student was not full ride ready by the end of the junior year. So one of the things that we encourage that the student needs to learn how to do, this is not something that they're gonna do off the top of their head. They have to learn how to do this, but the student needs to learn how to build their preferred list of schools. Uh, we recommend that the student is engaged in some form of career planning software or coaching. And um, not so that a, a student can be locked in or tied into a career, but so that they can understand the transition between high school and college and the role that selecting the, the right school and being prepared for that right school is so important. And what we have seen over and over again is that those students who are taken through a career planning process over and over again, where it is rehearsed and practiced and the process is learned, those students have a much more clear, uh, have much more clarity on why selecting the right school is important and how to select the right school, even if they're still trying to figure it out. That's okay. The important part is that they understand the why and the how. So also we see uh, another uh, big problem is the students are not selecting enough schools. Um, we know that students are falling in love with schools for all the wrong reasons and they're selecting one. And you may be a family where you say, okay, we're, 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 we are uh, going to college ABC, school ABC, university ABC, okay. But keep in mind when you do that, you are going to uh, put yourself at risk of walking away from tens of thousands of dollars and potential, other potential opportunities that are related to the college experience when you do that. Now, I'm not speaking against it. You know, some families, they, you, all, you may have a certain university where every one of your family attends that university, but you really need to understand there are implications um, um, and you may be setting yourself up for um, a lot of missed opportunities as a result of that. Uh, we also recommend that the student understands the scholarship requirements for each of those schools. Now we teach that uh, in a separate class where we walk the student through, um, well, how to identify merit dollars regardless of income, uh, as well as other uh, requirements. Uh, we also recommend that the student builds a list of the scholarships for each of those schools and creates a student matrix, which you'll see a sample of that. And then meet with their counselor every three months and let the counselor or their student advisor or whoever they're working with, uh, especially the parent, when you're doing a review every three months to make sure that your student is exceeding the guidelines for positioning themselves for a full ride. And if they're engaged in extracurricular activities, they have an opportunity to learn the processes of, of uh, making sure that they are highly attractive to those schools, to their schools of interest. Um, then the, the tutoring um, is also important because again, uh, what we're seeing is that students are waiting until the, the first quarter of the senior year trying to get tutoring and doing all of these last minute cram uh, steps when they could have been working on this all along since the eighth grade. This is really, really important. We understand the timeline of uh, grooming a student versus forcing them into a situation. If you are in that situation and you do have a senior, uh, we can help them as well, but we want to catch you before that time. 
So here's a copy of the eight steps to position the student for maximum funding. I'm running out of time, so I'm not going to read through these. Uh, I will get you a copy of this. All you have to do is re request it at Jeff, Jeff T at PayZeroForCollege.com, all letters. And then here's a sample of the student match matrix. So for example, what the student can do is just make a list of the scholarships for each of the schools that they're going to be um, uh, pursuing or positioning themselves for. And then over here, you can see where a student can list, for example, their freshmen, they can put their notes for each quarter of what they should be doing and their progress that they're making so that again, that they're exceeding the expectations of what's being required for those uh, particular scholarships. So if you need more help, or if you're seeking a list of the most up-to-date scholarships, you can register for our step-by-step -step coaching class at Merit Money for College. This is a fee class. Uh, it's very powerful. It has uh, individual and group instruction, and it's very, very powerful. We have seen uh, uh, group, we, well, we have a million dollar uh, promise of value, which simply says, if you're your group is using our system, we know that we're going to help you get well more, well over a million dollars more than your previous year because this strategy is very powerful and um, it works because uh, we're using the system that the schools want it, uh, to be used and it eliminates a lot of the gaps in information that a lot of parents and students just don't have. If you'd like to have a 15 minute coaching call, you can reach out to us. Uh, set up a 15-minute session at calendly.com slash your money coach. Once we receive your registration, you'll get additional instructions to prepare for that session. And we're also asking, listen, if you've gotten value out of this conversation, uh, take a moment and go to Pay Zero for College on Facebook and like that page. And just share, hey, you know, I'm, I'm taking one of uh, Certified College Planner uh, Jeff Taylor's uh, courses, and I'm getting a lot out of it. And also go to College Doc on Twitter and just, just, just let us know you're listening. And uh, that helps us. And if you have a question, we'll get an answer there, or you can uh, use um, the Jeff T at payzeroforcollege.com and uh, ask me as, as well. Listen, I am looking forward to meeting you directly and helping yourself or your group uh, improve their scholarship positioning. Uh, we can eliminate student loan debt when we understand how the college funding process works. Have an amazing rest of your day and I look forward to uh, seeing you soon. Take care now.